What's up, Kansas City? This is Serenity, and we're here with this gentleman here with the World Series of Fighting. Why don't you tell us who you are? Chris Diaz, World Series of Fighting. I'm one of the directors. I'm actually based right here out of Kansas City. Okay, so tell us about the event you have going on Friday. Well, the event that's coming up is Mixed Martial Arts. You guys have all probably heard of this as cage fighting, and you've heard it from other organizations on Fox Sports as well as Bellator and some uh, in UFC. We're just one of those organizations that is now also on broadcast, uh, NBC Sports, and we're coming to Kansas City for the first time this Friday. Wow, okay. So tell us some of the uh, people who are on the lineup. We've actually got a pretty stacked card. This is going to be 13 fights. We have two hours of preliminary fights, and we have three hours of NBC Sports broadcasted fights for all the main fights. There's going to be two title defenses on the line, and then we've got a local fighter, Jason High, known as the Kansas City Bandit, and he's fighting right out of Lenexa. Wow, okay. So where are you from originally? Uh, funny enough, I'm actually born out of Brooklyn, New York, and I didn't really get raised there. I actually got raised here in Kansas City when I was younger. Oh, okay. I went to Shawnee Mission East, and I grew up right around the Waldo Warnell area, and then I left for a while after having children, and recently came back home after about a year, and now live back in South Kansas City. Okay, so what do you like about Kansas City compared to other places you've lived? You know, this is, this is always a great story. Uh, you know, I brought my wife and my two young daughters here when I first uh, started having children about 2001 and we were here for a couple of years kind of grew our little family started a business and then decided we need to expand and get bigger so we picked a place on the map randomly and landed in phoenix arizona from there it kind of just escalated into working with lots of different teams and uh, groups and uh, even uh, other marketing uh, uh, opportunities and we met the world series of fighting in las vegas at some point at that point, we helped start that organization. We grew with them over the last four years and the entire time they've been on NBC. And at some point we decided we're done with Arizona, don't necessarily need to be here. My wife asked, uh, where should we go next? And I said, well, you guys pick it. We'll just let all the kids decide. And I got outvoted four to one. They wanted to come back to Kansas City. Okay. The question is probably why. <laughs> <laughs> Great. And so, uh, so tell us, where's the fight going to be at? So. Uh, it's going to be down at the Kansas City Municipal Auditorium, and it's right next to the convention center and just walking a few blocks away from the Power and Light District, which is where our after party is going to be. Okay. All right. Thank you. Well, you, more, you want any, any more information? A couple of other things that you might want to know about 7 p.m. It's going to start at 7 p.m. It's going to go all the way probably through midnight, and we're going to have an after party at Power okay. and Light. Okay. It's actually going to be at the Angel Rock Bar. And we're expecting an appearance from Stevie Stone from Strange Music as well. So oh, okay, you guys want to come out and see this. If you need tickets, check out WSOF.com. Find us on Facebook. One way or another, somebody's got to have tickets, VIP, something for you. Make sure to find us. All right, thank you. Thank you. I'm Serenity, my name is Peace. Make sure you check out what's up, I'm IFBB Bikini Pro Cat Williams. And when I'm not working out in the gym, I'm searching the web on Cascade Media and What's Up Kansas City. So make sure you check them out.